Hello, people of the once independent state of Southern Cameroons. Accept revolutionary greetings from me, John Ba Akuro, this uh, 8th day of May. This is uh, Friday, Friday the 8th of May, the year 2020. It's my pleasure coming back to have a, a moment of communion and sharing with you all out there. And uh, today, I want to raise one very important thing. I know that uh, at this point of our struggle for freedom, at this point in our liberation movement, we are witnessing a low moment. And sometimes when you get to low moments, tempers flare, anxiety gets a whole part of us. And then there are a lot of things that we are likely to do wrongly because we become super anxious, because we become super confused, and because in some circumstances, we even lose up and some people give up. My dear brothers and sisters of the Southern Cameroons, this is the time that you, you, you simply take stock. This is the time that you sit down and try to encourage one another. This is the time that you sit down and look back and identify where we went wrong and then we re-strategize to make sure that we cover those loopholes going forward. In every human endeavor, there must be low moments. For those of us who, uh, uh, you know, had the good luck to study uh, the ads, <laughs> uh, you know, when you take a novel or when you are doing literary appreciation, you look at a, a story and you realize that there are very high moments and then there are low moments. And then after that, you get into a lot of complications. And after the complications, things start getting sorted out and then you get now to what usually the, the technicians called, call uh, the denouement. So we are getting towards our climax. We are getting towards our complications. And I think that, uh, or rather, we are even getting over our complications. I beg your pardon, because we were, we were already in complications. We have been in complications for quite a while now. So we are doing everything now to come out of the complications phase. And when we come out of the complications phase, trust me, the next step will be the denouement. And at the gentleman, that's when everything begins to fall into shape. So when we are in low moments like this, expect La Republic du Cameroon to take advantage and drive all kinds of narratives. Expect La Republic to take advantage and try to stage all kinds of shows that should simply help dampen the spirits of the people. Take note that when you are battling for freedom, it is there's also a psychological element involved. The psychological warfare part of it is even the strongest one because what happens is each party seeks to break the spirit of the other party. Once you allow your spirits to be completely broken, you are defeated. But what keeps you, what makes the other party frustrated, what sets confusion in the mind of the other party and what sets doubt in the mind of the other party, even if they seem stronger, is your resilience. Once you are resilient, once you seem to be overcoming your low moments with a lot of birth, with a lot of strength, you drive the opponent crazy. And they will make mistakes upon mistakes upon mistakes, giving you the opportunity to dig into the loopholes and refocus your struggle for freedom. My dear people, we are at that stage in our movement. And at this stage, a lot of people say a lot of things. At this stage, you will find some minds, some people who came in, not because they actually intended to fight alongside people like us, alongside those of us who have decided to give our lives for this freedom. You will find them now coming out with their true colors. They are not falling off. They're simply portraying now finally who they are, who they were, who they've always been. And so let none of those, those moments, let none of those people, let none of the utterances that they come up with discourage you. It is bravery that takes a man like Professor Carlson Anyangwe to come out there and put down a text which indicates that honestly we have been on the wrong path for quite a while. And it is important to sit back Look at where we are today. Look at where we went wrong and address the situation. Sophists 
will pick up on it very easily to say, you see, we have told you, even Prof is already giving up. Uh, very soon, you'll find him in the, in the, in the, in the Black Lake League. Come on, give me a break. I want to say this. It is legitimate and important at every given moment that you sit down and evaluate and you decide to do right. It is courage, I mean courage and bravery to accept that I have been wrong, that we have been on the wrong path and we need to re-strategize and we need to change course. So I don't find anything really wrong in that. I think it is a direction to encourage because that is some kind of introspection and the net result of introspection is refocus. The net result of refocus is success. Let me say this to each and every one of us that wants to feel a bit weak. Strength grows in the moments when you think you can't go on, but you keep going anyway. Yeah, there are some in this movement who have told themselves, I really can't go on again. I am tired, I'm sick and tired. They've cited corruption. They've cited mismanagement of, of, of the movement. They've cited all sorts of things. They've cited the growth of black legs. Yet, they still find themselves hanging in there. Those are the people who have the mind to really push this freedom quest to the end. But at some moments, they get weak. So what we need to do is encourage ourselves in such moments so that we will keep riding on, so that we will rather have a clear head and have a better way of looking at the future before us. These low moments are very characteristic of this kind of movements. And this constitutes one of the, of the issues I am going to be addressing in my first ever uh, Facebook live show on Sunday, May 10 at 6 p.m. on the page of Timescape magazine. Again, you need to note that no matter how educated, talented, rich, or cool you believe you are, how you treat people ultimately tells all. Integrity is everything. There are people in our movement who have grown wings, who have reached a self-righteous level where they believe that every other one is wrong except them. Some of us might even fall in that trap. But the one thing to do is to retract once we realize that we are falling in that trap because none of us is infallible. And because we can sometimes treat others in that manner, we tend, we tend to turn them off. So we just have to revise a bit. And like I said, and manage our low moment in a way that it becomes really, really profitable to the movement and profitable to all of us. Like I said, stress, anxiety, and depression are caused when we are living to please others. This is a thought by Pablo, uh, by Paolo Caleo. What does he say here? He says stress, anxiety, and depression are caused when we are living to please others. In this movement, we should not do things to please others. We should do things because we are convinced that is the right thing that we are doing. Once you know that you are on the right path, once you are convinced that what you are doing is going to ultimately help us in attaining that freedom we are seeking, pursue that path. Don't get worried, even if you are all alone on your lane. Keep it up and we will get there. Take note, even the people who betray, even the people who betray us are part of the plan. We have seen a good number of them. Some who swore yesterday, some who became the first to say that uh, they were going to, you know, from battalions upon battalions to march us into freedom, are uh, today telling us a completely new story and even talking about 10 state federation. It, does that sound strange? Today, we find people who stood and called themselves that they were the, you know, the Ngambe people of our movement, that they were those who held all the dices to determine who was in and who was out. <laughs> today, their language is changing. Is it strange? It's déjà vu, my dear people, we will benefit, benefit very strongly in simply encouraging each other in these low moments. We will overcome these low moments. See, these low moments happen in every human endeavor, in every movement. So we should not be discouraged. This should rather be a moment for us to take stock and then to come out of this stronger. I mean stronger. And let me say this. Never regret a day in your life. Good days give happiness. Bad days give experience. Worst days give lessons, and best days give memories. So you see that any kind of day that you kind of, uh, you know, notice in your life has a contribution to make. I go back to it. 
that never regret a day in your life. Good days give happiness. Bad days will give you experience. Worst days will give lessons. And best days will give memories. Let us have on the very, very, you know, great lessons that we gather from these very bad days so that we will get to the good days that will give us beautiful memories that we will sit and look at when we would have settled down in Boya and we are shouting and dancing, free, free, free at last, we are free. Don't mind what you hear there. So like I said, on Sunday, Sunday, May 10, at 6 p.m., uh, Southern Cameroon's time, at 6 p.m., that's West Africa time, or, or I should call it Central African time, CAT, I will be live. At that time, it will be 1 p.m. Eastern time. I'll be live on Facebook. And so, to be part of that show, locate the page called Timescape Magazine. It's on Facebook. Click, like that page, and then hang in there, and then we shall be together on Sunday. There are a lot of interesting things that we are going to talk about. And I'd like you to be part of this show because it will be one very defining moment in this movement for freedom. There is going to be some very breaking news that will come in about some of the happenings that are going on in Yaoundé. And you will know exactly how this will impact our movement. And then I will take a serious dip into the underpinnings of that saga between Barista Nkongo Felix Agbabala and the University of Boya. And then, of course, we will do a quick evaluation of the state of our struggle, of our movement for freedom. So, like I have indicated, make sure, go on to Facebook right now, look for the page Timescape Magazine, like it, follow it, and then hang in there on Sunday when it will be 1 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Southern Cameroon's time or 6 p.m. Central time, and we shall be together. Do have a great one. And until Sunday, have a nice time. Hang in there. Be resilient. Encourage one another, and let us make the best of these low moments. To God be the glory.